Okay, we're going to talk about display setup a little bit. This is a pretty lightweight topic, um, and I'll call out the buttons to push for you. Um, at this time, there's no button to push, but I want you to take a look at your screen up at the very top of the screen. See the letter T? I put a check mark there on the PowerPoint. That's your trigger position. That's the letter T, and there's a little arrow there. So to adjust trigger position, press on the oscilloscope, press position delay, soft menu button, number one, de defaults to 50%. Use the left-right arrows and adjust position to, say, 10%. On the left side of that arrow, I'm going to circle it here. This is pre-trigger. This is the beauty of digital oscilloscopes. We actually can go back and display what was recorded before the trigger occurred. So I could have you know, a long period, maybe even 10 minutes here, and once I get a trigger, it would just finish recording post-trigger. So I hope everyone understands the concept of pre-trigger and post-trigger. In this case, I had a rising voltage value. Over here on the left side of the screen is the letter T. That's the trigger level. I'll just draw a line through it. And uh, down here at the bottom is the trigger channel. It says channel 1, rising slope. Okay, so that tells you which channel... Uh, once we hit this value, the trigger level, it's going to trigger right, right there, and uh, that's that's the basics of the, of the trigger and the display setup there. Okay, I demonstrated this earlier. Everyone, please just press the escape button several times, and it'll cycle through three different kinds of display. So one is basically this this mode here, which I'm drawing an arrow pointed at. It's kind of a digital multimeter mode. This is useful only for slower, slow waveforms. Okay. On your oscilloscope, too, earlier we did measurements. We did, po we did frequency or peak-to-peak -peak or duty cycle, and those often will be uh, interfered with by a waveform. So here is the button sequence I would like for you to press. The hard button display, which is under the big blue knob, press display. And then press the second button here, soft menu button number two, extra window. Use the big knob and adjust that for eight or ten, or just two or auto. You can adjust it, and you, you see the effect there. That just gives you extra room to display your measurements very cleanly. Please adjust soft menu button number one as well and get comfortable with that. When you're done, just leave that at number one. Just adjust it to two or three and see the effect of format. I set mine back to number one. You see this, all that does is it, it, it adjusts my screen. In this case, I've got four areas there, right? We can turn on the trace label too. Press display, press the display button, and then press Soft menu button number seven, next one of two. Now press soft menu button number one, trace label on. Okay, so all this does is it just puts the name of your channel out there in the center where you can see it. So hopefully everyone's comfortable with that now. That's trace label. In this in this same uh, menu item, you can adjust your uh, your some other aspects of the uh, the display. Okay, here's zoom controls. Let's zoom the waveform now. Press stop on your oscilloscope. And then down here where I'm drawing a green arrow on the PowerPoint, press your zoom button. And then right here it'll say, I'll circle. It says display on. Confirm this. You should be on already. Then I just want you to play with this, this button here, the mag knob. I'm drawing an arrow at it. And then after you adjust that knob, please adjust this knob, the position knob. So interact with those two knobs. Those are dedicated knobs, mag and position. And this gives you a lot of control of your zoom function. If you have mastered zoom now, you may choose to, to, to zoom on a rising edge of your one kilohertz square wave. You can put a cursor inside of the zoom. Please look at the PowerPoint 
display now, and I'll show you your time per division here. I'm drawing an arrow. Time per division in the zoom window. Please confirm that you can see that in the zoom window. This portion down at the bottom here is called the zoom window. You can have two zoom windows also. So uh, if you press the zoom button, which I'm circling here, press that one more time. Press soft menu button number one and turn Zoom 2 on with soft menu button number 2. You now have two Zoom windows. Okay, take the time per division knob here at my fingertip. Turn it to about um, one second per division and press Start. So I have one second per division here. Oh, also, let's increase the sample rate. P please press Acquire button. The button here at my fingertip, acquire, adjust the record length here, just increase it. Okay, so time time per division should be one second per division. And it should say my record length should say one million. Okay, when you have those two set up properly, hit start. You can see my waveform is acquiring slowly, one second per division. Hopefully everyone has a very long acquisition like this by now. So once you have a 10-second acquisition, it'll look like a solid bar here. Just press stop so that the acquisition stops. Okay. Your screen, your screen should be similar to mine at this time. Okay, press the zoom button again down here at the lower right. Press soft menu button number one until you've selected, until you have zoom two, and then turn zoom two off. Okay, I'm going to press soft menu button number one and go back to zoom one. Okay, soft menu button number seven. It says next one of two. Press that. We're going to show you a couple of different features here. One is main ratio, soft men menu button number one. You can press that and select zero percent. This can be confusing. At the top center of the screen, it says Zoom 1, and we know at this time we're seeing only Zoom 1 button. Okay, press soft menu button number 1 again, and select 20%. So soft menu button number 1 should say 20%. Press the soft menu button number 3 to auto-scroll. This brings up a new soft menu. This looks like a tape recorder. Soft menu button number four looks like a play arrow. Press it, and you see your waveform playback very slowly. Mine's moving across the screen here. You can adjust the speed slower or faster with soft menu button number two. I have my speed at six. It goes up to ten very fast. I've played to the very end, so I can play it backwards now. So you may get you may want to get comfortable with this. It's it's just a way to sit and preview with very little effort to preview uh your your re your recording. 